Hello, my name's Lynette and I'm one of the two community fundraising and support officers here at Action Duchenne. I'm also a Duchenne mum. It is great to welcome so many of you this weekend and I hope you are enjoying this virtual conference. I'm going to wind the clocks back now to March this year. It feels like a lifetime ago. Coronavirus had arrived in the UK and we were heading towards the first lockdown. As a charity, we knew our Duchenne families would need us now more than ever. Our resourceful, small team reacted at lightning speed. Those first few days in lockdown, we hit the phones. We spoke to 2,000 families over lockdown. We reassured them, we listened and heard their worries, frustrations and fears. What would happen to their children's muscles during a period of prolonged isolation? How could they keep their children active to preserve this precious function? How would they deal with the isolation? keeping the children entertained, balancing work from home, education, appointments, potentially grief, and then the eventual return to reality. It just seems so incredibly impossible for these brave families to navigate this journey through lockdown and beyond on their own without help and guidance. We recognise an urgent need to share information, support and advice for families online. So the webinar series was born. We wrote designed, marketed, implemented and delivered 27 webinars, completely in-house, from scratch, using our expertise and knowledge of the Duchenne community. We put our heart and soul into those webinars and welcomed hundreds of people from across the Duchenne community to hear from experts in mental health, adult and children's physio, OTs, education and employment. We held sessions for young people with Duchenne and even held a series of relaxation classes. As soon as COVID-19 reached the UK, we recognised a real unmet need, which was affecting all of our Duchenne families. There was so much information, speculation, fake news and confusion that we knew we needed to create an unbiased, factual, constantly updated place on our website for information specifically aimed at people living with Duchenne. So we created the COVID-19 Advice for Duchenne Families page, which we continue to update. The advice was put together by our Head of Research, an expert science communicator and has gone around the globe with over 40,000 unique page views and counting. During lockdown, the government's public announcements and guidance largely ignored the needs of those living with complex conditions. The guidance was to shield with no clear exit plan, which caused huge stress and upset for our Duchenne families. We wanted to get answers for our community, so we lobbied the Prime Minister Boris Johnson, Secretaries of State for Health, Education and Work, and pensions as well as to the devolved administrations. We asked for the opportunity to help officials review the guidance and find ways to enable people and families with Duchenne in their lives to begin living more fully again. As a charity we worked around the clock to support our Duchenne community through COVID-19 alongside balancing homeschooling ourselves. We ignited and deployed 30 volunteers including young people and adults living with Duchenne to help us protect our frontline services. And now we are continuing to support families through this second lockdown and beyond. We did all this whilst continuing to fund Duchenne research projects. We have fulfilled our financial commitment to funding the fourth year of Duchenne clinical trials at Newcastle University, and we'll be launching an exciting new research funding scheme in the near future. So today, I am proud to share with you the work we have done and the impact it has made on our wonderful Duchenne community. I look forward to working on the exciting projects we have planned for the coming months and to sharing the rest of the conference with you. Thank you.